Hey everybody, it's me RJ. Today I'm doing a little open boxing and maybe a little review on this uh, Vivo Home MIG 130. It's a gasless welding flux uh, MIG. I'm using flux core. Uh, I'm using Link in Electric. It comes with its own here in the box. Flux cord wire, grade E, same tone, diagram, 0.8 millimeter, NW25, net weight, 25 kilogram. Blah, blah, so it's like a one pound spool, but it's junk. It comes with one of these. You could use, like, if you have one of your kids to help and weld as long as you, you know, watching you to learn. As long as you make them hold this all the time. Like, if they look away, spank them because they'll go blind. <laughs> if you don't love me, why are you spank me? Well, because I don't want you to go blind. Ruin your vision. Okay, it's got a little handle. And it does not want to go in. Here's the way it's set up. There we go. And it's a little flimsy. Almost all welders come with one of these little cheap things. I got an electric, you know, self cloak, you know, battery powered mask, solar powered, whatever. Whatever. You get in there, it's a little piece, get in there. Boom, boom, come in here. Show them what we got. Here's the way you adjust the feed. You put new wire in, it holds the tension. Okay. Uh, mine broke. I had a link at uh, Chicago Electric from Harbor Freight, and it was only a 90 amp. So it's not quite good enough, but uh, so I use a vice grip. So hopefully this one holds up better. Put the spool there. Um, there's a little circle lid here. Where is it? There it is, right there. Okay, there's parts you put on. Boom, boom, boom. Put the pieces. This is the handle, so you carry it around. This is how you open it. Two little things. Slide it up because they catch it in the side of there. Okay, here you go. Min. Max, so if you want to run the 130, and then one and two, I think the two is going to be the full 130 amps. And then here's your speed for your feed on your wire. So if you're not very good, you want to go slower. Of course, if you're good, you already know how to use a welder, but you go faster. Okay, helps you out. Um, you don't want to go too slow ever. Okay, it's going to use a good amount of power, so I'm running to its own outlet. Uh, what was that piece I cut? Big old piece of metal. Pause it real quick. So I'm gonna take this one inch angle iron. This is two inch here, I'm probably, I need to get some two inch, but I got a problem here, so I'm just gonna hit it up just to see how it holds. And then it should, at the 130 amp, be able to get through this by the measurement. They say how thick a metal it can weld. My Chicago Electric 90 amp could not weld this gate. It wouldn't stick, it wasn't hot enough. It would just be. All right. So, I'm gonna get some welds. I'll take a look. They're probably gonna be sloppy. Don't make fun of me. Oh, you get a little crappy brush with a Chad hitter. Um, I bought a uh, Hobart one. So, I'm welding a few years because my welder's broke. But here's you got you got your grounding clamp, you got your wire, you got the plug. There we go. I can't really show you. I might be able to set this up right here while I weld. We'll see and see if I can get to record a little. If not, I don't know if it'll work. Okay? See you in a little bit. Bye bye.